So to make this recipe, you're gonna need some sausage. Now you can use Italian sausage, pork sausage, turkey sausage. I'm using chicken sausage. Now this is an andouille sausage and I wanted it more of that crumbly texture. So I went ahead and threw it in the food processor and it came out perfect. It, the texture is just perfect. So you can use whatever sausage you want. If it's not crumbly, girl, throw it in the food processor. Next, you're gonna take a hot skillet and you're gonna add some olive oil to it. And you're gonna start to crisp up your sausage a bit. Now, um, if your sausage has more of a higher fat content, you might not need as much olive oil, but I'm using chicken. It really doesn't have much fat, so I needed a couple of tablespoons of olive oil to get it nice and juicy, I would say. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and add in a pinch of red pepper flakes. Now, if you like it spicier, go ahead and add more. Or if you're using a spicy sausage, you might not even have to, so it's totally up to you. Next, I'm gonna throw in some diced onion. I'm gonna let this continue to cook with my sausage until it starts to sweat down. And then we're gonna add in some minced garlic. And just let this continue to fry up for about 30 more seconds. You don't want your garlic to burn. Next, you're gonna add in one can of diced tomatoes and then a few cups of chicken broth. Now while that's coming up to a simmer, you wanna go ahead and add in some herbs and spices. I'm adding in some dry Italian herb seasoning, some salt and black pepper. And I'm also gonna add in some smoked paprika. I just like smoked paprika and everything. And then I have this garlic and herb all-purpose seasoning. I went ahead and threw in a little bit of that. It has like a lot of Italian seasonings and herbs in it. And then we're gonna go ahead and mix all of our seasonings in and we're gonna let this simmer for about 10 minutes. Now after 10 minutes, you wanna go ahead and add in your gnocchi. I love me some gnocchi. My favorite way to eat it is once you cook it and then you like toast it in a pan with some garlic, seasonings, and olive oil, and it gets so crispy, so good. Or gnocchi mac and cheese is really good too. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and add in our gnocchi, stir it in. Now with gnocchi, once it starts to float to the top, that's when you know it's done. And that usually takes about five minutes. So you're gonna let it continue to simmer for about five minutes. And then you'll notice all your gnocchi starting to float up to the top. Now once it's done, you're gonna go ahead and remove the skillet from the heat. And then we're gonna mix in some fresh spinach. That heat is gonna wilt that spinach and it's just gonna be perfect, girl, perfect. There is so much flavor in the soup. Don't be afraid to add your own seasonings and season it up how you want it. That gnocchi is so pillowy. The spinach is just perfect. The sausage has those crispy bits and pieces. So good. Now you guys, Trader Joe's has these mini baguettes in the freezer section. Please go out and get them and put them in your air fryer. They're so delicious. I love me some baguettes. And then we have our nice, pillowy, delicious soup with a little bit of Parmesan on top. Yum.